Hi, in this video I'm looking at using a graphics calculator to find the means of five random samples of 20 values from a normal distribution with a mean of 34 and a standard deviation of 9. So what we need to know is how we're going to do this with our graphics calculator. Now I'm just going to set out what we have. We have our standard deviation, which is 9. We have our mean which is 34 and we have our sample size which is 20 and to do this in our graphics calculator we're going to use a function called ran norm and well this is for the Casio range of calculators they have a ran norm function so it gives us a random number mapped to a normal distribution and it takes the syntax where we put in the standard deviation and then we put in the mean and then we put in our sample size. So in our calculator we're going to have ran norm and we're going to put in our standard deviation of 9 followed by our mean of 34 followed by our sample size of 20 and we should get a list of 20 numbers that are random and normally distributed. So let's go to our calculator and have a look at doing this. So we're going to go to our run matrix mode on our calculator, which is menu number one. And we need to find our random normal number generator. And this is going to be under, if we press option, we can then go and find under the next screen we've got probability and we've got a random number section and we've got all these different random number generators we're going to go for norm so we get ran norm and it gives us our first bracket and then we've just got to put in our numbers so we've got a standard deviation of nine and we've got to put in a comma a mean of 34 comma and a sample size of 20 and close off the brackets and we get, if we execute that, a list of 20 normally distributed numbers. And if I use the arrow keys, we can go through them. But that would just be 20 randomly distributed numbers. We want the means. And means is we've got to add all these numbers up and then divide by how many there are. Well, that means that we need to use sum. So if I go back to our option menu and under list, we actually have a sum function. So we can put in sum and we can put in our random normal. So that means we've got to go back to option and over to prob and random normal. Oops, I somehow typed a C in there. And then we can go nine comma 34 comma 20 close the bracket and that will add them all up for us but we also want to divide that by how many there are so we can go back up here and we can edit our equation and we can put in a divide and we have a sample size of 20 so we've got 20 values so we're going to divide by how many we have so we divide by 20 and so that will sum them up and divide by 20 and so now we have the mean of one sample of 20 uh, randomly generated numbers uh, forming to the normal distribution. So now if I want to do this again and again, I can press execute again and it duplicates and I get a different mean. So now I've got two out of my five. So I've got 32.02, 34.32. Execute again will give us a third one, 35.06. Execute again. 35.27 and execute again we get 26.79 so now we have our five means so we have our five samples and we have their means and their normally distributed numbers and so that's it so if we want to simulate the random sampling and finding means we can do that using our graphics calculator by using the sum and a random distribution and we have different distributions available to us.